Hello YouTube viewers, hope everyone is doing well. This video is about how to handle 404 errors in ASP.NET Core MVC. ASP.NET Core MVC is the .NET Core counterpart of ASP.NET MVC framework for building cross-platform, scalable, high-performance web applications and APIs using model view controller design pattern. Surprisingly, although ASP.NET Core provides plenty of options for handling 404 errors gracefully, the ASP.NET Core MVC runtime does not take advantage of them by default. As a result, when a web page is not found and a 404 error is returned by the application, ASP.NET Core MVC presents only a generic browser error page. This video discusses three options in ASP.NET Core we use to handle 404 errors by more gracefully. Let's create an ASP.NET Core MVC project in Visual Studio. Open Visual Studio 2022 and click on Create a New Project. In Search for Templates, type ASP.NET Core Web App and then select ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. Click on Next. Give project a meaningful name. Handle 404. Error, you can leave the location default and the solution name same as the project name. Click on next. Uncheck configure for HTTPS. Click on create. We will use this project to illustrate our 404 error handling options. When you execute the ASP.NET Core MVC project we have created, you'll see home page of the application with welcome message. Let's run the project. As you can see the home page of the application is displayed with the welcome message. Now let's try to browse to a page that doesn't exist. In the address bar, type forward slash customers When the ASP.NET Core MVC engine fails to locate the resource for the specified URL, a 404 error will be returned and you are presented with a not very elegant page can be found error page. There are several ways in which you can improve on this generic error page. A simple solution is to check for HTTP status code 404 in the response. If found, you can redirect the control to a page that exists. Let's implement it. Close the browser to stop the execution of the app. Go to program.cs. Right under the if block, type app.use brackets and async and then brackets again, context, comma, next, then lambda expression, and braces, semicolon at the, after the bracket, and await, next, wait, next, and then if log, check, context dot response, dot status code, equals 404, then insert the if block, redirect to context.request dot path to a page that exists. Let's redirect it to home page slash privacy. Home slash privacy, not the home page. And then await text. Await has to be double equals. Save and let's run project. And let's go to the same customers page. And as you can see, the control is redirected to privacy policy page. This is one way of handling 404 errors. A second solution for handling 404 errors in ASP.NET Core is by using built-in use status code pages middleware. Let's implement it. 
close the browser to stop the execution of the application and comment uh, the existing code we implemented and add app dot use status code pages save it let's run it and let's go to customers page which doesn't exist as you can see a status code 404 dot font is displayed and that's another way of handling 404 errors in asp.net core mvc another solution to handle 404 errors in asp.net core mvc is by taking advantage of use status code pages with re-execute middleware let's implement the solution let's stop the execution of application by closing the browser this solution requires changing few files so let's go and add a new property to our model we'll add a string property here public string error message and string dot empty let's initialize it save it now let's go and make changes to uh, error.cshtml we'll add a new br tag here to get a new line and then strong tag and we'll display the error message we just added and in the code tag will display the error message at model dot message save it now let's go to home controller if there is an issue let's fix this okay go to home controller and add a new action method here which will be route slash home slash error that's code uh, as an integer it will be public by action result error and accept code and we'll return view we'll pass new error view model set the property request id test and error message equals we'll do use interpolation string interpolation error third error code is play the code code save it now let's go to program.cs file add comment the existing code which we implemented in the last solution and add app.use with re uh, redirect and let's redirect it to slash home slash error with parameter save it and let's execute it Then let's go to customers, which doesn't exist. And as you can see, we see the error, this new message here, uh, error occurred and error code is 404. So that's another way of handling 404 errors uh, in ASP.NET Core MVC. And finally, you can create custom views for specific error codes. For example, you might create views such as home slash error slash 500 dot CS HTML. Uh, you could then check the HTTP error code and re redirect to the appropriate page. That's all for this video. I hope this video was helpful. And if you find this video useful, please subscribe. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below. Click that like button. Likes are always appreciated. Please subscribe to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next video.